Hi guys, we have these planes. Let's see how we can convert them to Cartesian form. Okay, so to start with the first one, which is this one that we have here, let's see how we can break it up. So it's important to note that to do that, we need to obtain firstly the x, y, z vector to be easier that way. Once we obtain the x, y, z vector, what we're obtaining in short is the uh, metric form of this particular line. So, R represents any position vector of a point on a plane. So, R is as good as x, y, z, which is equal to this point, which is 1, 1, negative 4, plus lambda, 2, 2, 3, plus mu, negative 3, 0, negative 1. Okay. So let's uh, change this to parametric form. To do that, we're going to say x is equal to everything that we have in the first row. So x is equal to 1 plus 2 lambda minus 3 mu. We'll go for y. So y is equal to 1 plus 2 lambda uh, so here we have mu times 0, so that's just 0, I won't write it. z is equals to negative 4 plus 3 lambda minus mu. So this is in parametric form. So now we need to eliminate lambda and mu. So for the sake of reference, let's call this equation number 1. Let's call this equation number 2. And... The last one, this will be equation number three. Okay. So, to eliminate mu, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to subtract equations one and two. So that if we subtract these two parts here, uh, lambda will, will eliminate. So let's see what we're going to get. So, subtracting equation one and two, so we're going to say oh, equation one minus equation two. Let's see what we get. We have x minus y, 1 minus 1, that's just a 0, this minus this, that's another 0, and mu minus, we don't have anything from mu here, so we just have it as a negative 3 mu, like that. So this can reduce to x minus y is equals to negative 3 mu, like that. Let's call this equation number four. Okay, so now that we have equation number four, using equation number two, the one which does not have mu, we can make lambda the subject of the formula. So how can we make lambda the subject of the formula? We can push this one to the other side so that we have y minus one is equals to two lambda. We divide both sides by two. Hence, what we're going to obtain will be lambda is equals to y minus 1 over 2. For the sake of reference again, let's call this equation number 5. So what we need to do now here is we need to combine the two. Remember, from equation number 4, let's make mu the subject of the formula. So if we decide to make mu the subject of the formula here, what we're going to get is mu is equals to x minus y divided by negative 3. Like that. So remember, this is still equation 4. Then from there, what we're going to do is we have equation 5, which is lambda is equals to y minus 1 over 2. Now remember, we have not used equation 3, so both of these, we're going to substitute them into equation 3. So equation three, we're going to say z is equals to, here we have negative four. Here where there's lambda, we we'll replace with this. So plus three, where there's lambda, we'll put y minus one over two. Here where there's mu, we'll say minus, in bracket, x minus y over three. That's what we have. Remember the three is a negative. Okay. Then now, from there, what we're going to do is we can get rid of these two and these three here. 
But first of all, we can say z is equal to negative 4 plus 3, open bracket, y minus 1 over 2. This negative and this negative can just become a positive. So x plus, sorry, sorry, x is still a minus here. So it's this negative and this negative which gives us a positive. To get rid of this 2 and this 3, we can multiply the entire equation by the LCM of the 2 and 3, which is 6. So 6 times z, we get 6z. Six, 6 times negative 4, we get negative 24. So 2 into 6 is 3. 3 times this 3 here, we get a 9. y minus 1. 3 into 6 is 2. 2 times this, we get 2x minus y. So 6z is equals to negative 24 plus 9y minus 9 plus 2x minus 2y, like that. So we're going to push everything to one side. So hence everything what we're going to get is uh, negative 2x. The y also goes that side. Now remember we have this y and this y here. So 9y minus 2y, we get 7y. So if it crosses the equal sign, it's going to become a minus 7y. We have 6z, so we can say plus 6z. Now how many constants do we have? We have negative 24. And nine. If we put these two together, what we're getting is negative 33. So this is the equation we're looking for. Let's look at the second question. Remember, we have two questions. Let's see how we can do it as well. The procedure is just the same. So here's our second question. So again, R can be written as the column vector x, y, z. So we can write this as x, y, z is equals to 2, 1, 1 plus lambda 2, 1, 0 plus mu of 0, 0, 1, like that. So let's create uh, the equations, the parametric equations. So x is equals to 2 plus 2 lambda, mu there is 0, y is equals to 1 plus lambda, like that, and lastly, we have, remember mu there is 0, lastly we have z is equals to 1 plus mu, because uh, lambda there is, is 0. So how can we eliminate the two? So what we're going to do here is, uh, we need to eliminate lambda and mu. Hence, we will substitute equation two into equation one. So equation two, let's rewrite it. Equation two can be written as lambda is equals to y minus one. So this is from equation two, let's substitute into equation one. So equation one, we have x is equals to two plus two where there's lambda there, we'll put y minus 1, like that. So this will give us x is equals to 2 plus 2y minus 2. So we have x. Remember the 2y can come this side, so I do have 2y, which is equals to uh, positive 2 minus 2. So this is 2y, sorry. So let's bring it here. So x minus 2y is equals to 0. And that's our equation. So in this case, z is not connecting because in these two, we don't have uh, mu. And in this equation, we don't have lambda. So there's no way in which this can connect. So this is our equation of interest. So that's it. Thank you very much. In case you have a question, please feel free to drop a comment. Have a good day.